Uh, I'm sure one of these days Nintendo's gonna be like, stop playing our games, dude. Just, just stop. Like, you might be a fan of Nintendo, but this needs to stop. You're, you're calling us out on all of our little tweaks and our, our issues. We don't appreciate that. See, here at Nintendo, we believe that free speech is not something that should be allowed about our video games because our video games have to make personally professional look on the world at all times. We can't have bad games. If we have bad games, we trash them out and say that they didn't exist. Because that's what happens. <laughs> yeah. It's totally what happens. It's like a secret society of Nintendo guys. Actually, you know what? They're called beta testers. They're called beta testers. They test games and say whether or not they're good enough. But how do they pass the beta testers? Like a boot that doesn't turn you invisible? That's like that's like game changing glitch. It's not cool, man. And I know that the chances of it happening are probably like one in a million, but. It still happened! And I didn't get a proper boo! Oh, I almost got it. Oh, you turd! Don't you dare throw it backwards now, Aurelius. I'm still watching you. If I see a random item go into your hand that you clearly didn't have... Mmm, I will highlight that crap. Highlight it in nice red. Be like, this, this is what I deal with on a daily basis in my Mario Kart life. And nobody fixes it. Bullet Bills, go away! Why are you both Bullet Bills? Why don't, why don't I get Bullet Bills in fifth place? Go away, Mr. Chompy Chompy. My life, my my Mario Kart experience. Why did he turn backwards? I don't. No, no, Hannah. Trying to lob me with freaking shells. What a jerk. My Mario Kart experience has been ruined. I spat on my screen again. Getting very verbal. The second time that I spat on my screen. <laughs> is this what YouTubers do all the time? I can, I can just imagine it now, like when a YouTuber is done with their stream, they just take a towel to their screen. They're just like, freaking get out of here. I spat all over you. Yay, yay. When you're a very verbal YouTuber, you just naturally exude your saliva onto your screen. Maybe that's just me, like, maybe other YouTubers have, like, this protector. This freaking, like, spit protector to save their <laughs> screen from the disgustingness of saliva. But I don't. I use basically the most simple getup you can get. Just headphones with a good old mic that doesn't sound too terrible. And that's not a squeaker mic either. And I just record. Because why not? I don't, I don't have the ability to get one of those nice speakers where I can get a freaking sound barrier to block out all the excess sounds like my sniffling because I'm a sick mother trucker and I get sick all the time and sniffle, sniffle, sniffle because allergies to pollens in the air. You guys don't know the feeling unless you do. In which case, you know the feeling and it sucks because you have sniffles all the time. Even though you're not sick. And so when you're trying to do things and not sniffle because it's embarrassing and you sniffle, you feel like you have to cut out that whole part where you sniffled because you sniffled and it's it's unedicable. It's unproper, it's inedicable. But you guys can do this. You guys get it. You don't know the problem. I, unless you do, of course. I already said that. But you still don't know the problem. 
I wish I could execute that as well as some people would. Gosh, I think it would definitely work on my own problem <laughs> skills. If, I, if only I was a better YouTuber, right guys? <laughs> Top tier YouTuber, right? Because I'm actually decent at Mario Kart, right? I'm actually decent at video games, right? I'm like most YouTubers where everybody's just like, no, you have to do this and this and this and this and this and then they don't even do it. The next time they stream the same thing, they're just like, oh, um, well, thank you for your advice. I'm still going to do things my way, and my way is not the correct way, but it's still my way, so I'm going to do it my way. Hey, have you guys ever noticed that? People... People, I mean, they say they read. Uh, oh, I just saw a voice crack right there. They, they say they read the comments right, and there's a whole bunch of comments that are just simply trying to help them out with certain things. But they completely ignore the comments that are helping them, and then they take the comments that don't even matter and read those ones, and then they take the hate comments as well and they read those. They never read the freaking. Oh, hey. Um. So if you freaking look at the top left of the screen, you get a yada yada yada, right? Because I know this stuff, and it's freaking easy game logic that you can pick up, but you're just not. Or if you press certain button with certain other button, you get button 50. That moment when you get mad about helping other people out. So far ahead, why has nobody shut them down? Bogus! This is Balarkey! This is Bologna! Bologna! Baloney! Oh, he freaking disrespected! He disrespected! Wait, I don't think that's the same person. Oh, yeah, it's definitely not the same person. Okay, I was about to say. <laughs> I was about to say, if Mr. First Place are disrespecting me that hard, I just, I want to know what to do with myself. No, it was, it was just somebody who's just absolutely terrible <laughs> at the game, I guess. Okay, that's just another thing I don't understand, guys, and I might have said this before, but how do you get negative, like, how, how do you even get into the triple digits with your points? Like... It takes a special kind of person to get lower than a thousand in Mario Kart. Like Mario Kart literally makes it almost, almost impossible to lose less than a thousand. Lose at less than a thousand. Like you literally, you literally have to get like 11th or 12th place every match. To even get 10 below a thousand. I just, I don't, I don't understand. I never will. I just, why, why is this a thing? Like, wh how, I, I mean, I don't, I don't try, I don't try to ridicule people, but when I look at that and I think of how hard, how hard you have to actually try to be that bad like I just my brain can't comprehend how you can never get a first place in your life in an RNG game hell even freaking Craig like mini lad did it in one of his first Mario Kart games like <laughs> I'm at a loss. I'm at a loss for words about being that bad. Anyway, I'm, I'm gonna stop because I'm sure I've offended a lot of people, and I don't want to offend as many people as I can. I don't want to offend many people at all. It's not my goal here. My goal here is to entertain. But that's another sad thing about humanity: is that humanity gets entertained from people hating on other people. Why? Why is this so amusing? Why do you like to torture somebody else? Why do you like to see somebody else in pain? Are you happy about this whole freaking Hurricane Harvey thing happening in Texas? Does that make you... Does that make you... Does that turn you on or something? Like, I just... It's just 
does hearing somebody die in a hurricane make you happy? It's basically the same thing when people bully people, but you're just freaking happy about that. It's, it's not physically killing, but it might as well be mentally killing because the poor dude's gonna be scarred for the rest of his life. Poor dude dead. Like I said, not gender bias here. Not even transgender bias, so you can be a he she if you want to be. I feel like that came out wrong, but. I, I don't know. It's just, it's just this whole transgender thing has kind of gotten on my nerves. People have like over. Oh. Uh, over exaggerated it in a lot of. a lot of social media. Please stop. We get the picture. We get the picture. There's nothing we can do about it, so why are you complaining to us though? <laughs> We're just normal people who like playing video games. We might have a voice, but we don't have that strong of a voice. <laughs> okay, now that I've said that, I can just imagine. Like, picture with me for a second. Just picture how big of a megaphone <laughs> you would have to use to send a message. <laughs> to the whole entire world. <laughs> like it just it have to be like freaking That is terrifying. You know how I was saying that lady with the pigtails earlier was terrifying. Mm. That dude's terrifying. Don't like that dude. Anyway guys, I'm gonna probably split this into three videos. I forgot what I was talking about. Yeah, I was talking about megaphones and how big it would have to be to reach the hole. <laughs> You'd probably have to have like a megaphone with multiple holes and just like, it'd have to be as big as the earth itself. It's like, hey, hey, you t <laughs> I can't make that joke. Have you guys have seen the freaking as the movies like when uh, there was like the couple and they were having a like uh, a picnic out in the middle of the night and the movie was like hey you two kids <laughs> like, I can't, can't take myself seriously when I say stuff like that it just, I laugh so hard and I feel bad because I have friends that get mad at me when I laugh <laughs> but I just I can't help but laugh just thinking about things some of the time. And so when I'm thinking about jokes, I'm naturally going to laugh about it because it's a joke and it's funny to me. Because inside jokes are the funniest things ever, and not everybody understands them. And that's the point of inside jokes. It's not meant to be funny to everybody, but it most certainly is funny for the people that weren't there to know why it's funny. Uh, <laughs> Am I funny yet, guys? Is there anything funny in this whole hour of video making? Everybody's probably like, you oh, know, please stop. <laughs> Is not, you see, this is another one of those self-esteem things because I'm sure somebody, somebody in the world is going to be like, Hey, you're a funny person. I like you. Hey, you should do more videos. Just keep doing them, mate. I have, like, subscribe to you. I watch you every day. Just keep, keep doing it. Don't worry about it. I watch you. I'm sure people will be like that, but I just... I have this voice in my head, like, you know, the little Satan voice. It's like, I have somebody like, or I guess Satan is the wrong term, but it's the devil. The devil voice in your head. You know, you have the devil voice and the angel voice. It's always like, hey, you should do the right thing. And the devil voice is like, the right thing is the wrong way to go, because if you do the right thing, bad things happen. It's like that little voice gets in my head all the time. And I really shouldn't let it, but it tries to bring me down a lot. 